rolling into this season, there was a lot of questions on whether or not someone was going to be able to rise to the occasion. Uh, people talking about Isaiah Clark, people talking about Kyle Bitterman. Uh, Kyle Peters and Ryan Brees right now. That is the battle to watch right now. Brees swept last weekend, and now Peters' points lead is a little less. And KP's going for his fifth title, so that's that's a big big thing for them. Yeah. I got to say, this is the first time probably he's been put on his back foot in his four championships. Now I feel like with KP, I don't want to say showing weakness, but definitely a little chink in the armor, if you will. There's a sign, hey, this guy is human. He is beatable. The rest of the field wants to put him back as well. You were gapping him by like the second lap, third lap, you were safe. And then he washed the front end after the finish. And then he got chippy with 597. And then 597, they came out of the rhythm and 597 like ran it up on him and knocked him off. So, <laughs> so now he's in the semi. Oh. I think you start to see the rest of the field more aggressively racing Kyle Peters, treating him just like one of the guys rather than, hey, that's the champ right there. Once they realize they truly belong at the top, they start to ride with a different level of authority, right? They start making the passes happen almost immediately. I think you start to see the rest of the field really going at it for the number one. All right, man, let's go. Were you going to try and start on a different gate? If that was any time to do it to try something, would have been in that one because, you know, it was like you're going to catch him anyways, no matter how it starts. And then Bitterman, you almost took him out, or he almost took you out again, you know. That's their only chance is to, like, try and get ahead of you there because once you're ahead of them, there's not anything they can do. Reese has got into Kyle's head a little bit. Yeah, it's certainly not, like, complete panic button time, but... Ryan Brees has got some momentum. While Brees does have the momentum in his favor at the moment, he doesn't have the red background. When it comes to Kyle Peters having a contender like Ryan Brees come in, you, you got to think that there's a little bit of, of snarl in his game that he's bringing on a weekly basis because this is his territory. And he's going to defend his title tooth and nail. He, like you said, he still has that number one plate and would like to leave 2024 with it. What does he need to do to finish off this championship? Today? He's got to remember why he's the number one and why he's a four-time champ. Focus on, like, back to your routine you've been doing. It's been working for you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and before he went to the 450, he was at least splitting wins with Reese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let him have the first main event win. If you can win the second one, put some pressure on him, make him chase you, and he makes the mistakes. Yeah. Man, you had a 20-point lead. You know, it's down to, what did we say, 13? Maybe 14, 13, somewhere in that area. We've got six rounds left, 12 main events. It's far from over. So if you're the number one, you need to, to line up and you need to go out there and show what you've got.